we will replace slow native file explorer features by using third-party tools that seamlessly integrate better alternatives which will make working with files a lot faster. We'll start by introducing a faster alternative to search, then more advanced and faster copying operations. Next, we'll add batch file renaming capabilities. After that, we'll upgrade the tooltip for better previews. And finally, we'll expand thumbnail generation support. Everything search integrates near instant search and file explorer. Instead of waiting ages for a single search, simply right click and select search everything item. Searching for arrow will instantly display every file in this big folder that is named arrow. After you install everything search from the download link in the description, right click on its system tray icon, select options and in general enable show search everything folder context menu item. After you've performed a search, you can reduce the amount of files shown using these built-in filters like for example the picture filter will only show pictures and you can also change the view to display relevant information. While in details view you should use the preview pane which will allow you to preview files and you can also use the sort by feature to sort by name, path, size, extension, type and everything else ascending or descending if you want to perform a more complex search like looking for everything in the overlays folder but this folder you can use ChatGPT's help but first go to everything select help then search syntax and copy everything now in ChatGPT, type this is everything search syntax and then paste the search syntax and in the bottom ask ChatGPT to generate a search query for the search you want to perform in my example i told it to generate a search to copy and paste into everything search that will look inside this directory and i've provided it with the directory and exclude this folder and i've provided it with the folder's name now copy the search query that ChatGPT provided and paste it into everything search and I can see that it worked because the number of objects is significantly lower. If you want to learn more about everything search click the link in the top right corner. You can also use everything search to organize files faster. I want to move every .ico file to this folder and every png file to this folder. I right click and select search everything look for that ico files select all of them and move them into the dot ico folder and then i'll look for dot ng files and move all of them into the dot png folder and just like that all files are organized thanks to everything search after you download teracopy from the link in the description open its settings and make sure register copy handler is checked and use TerraCopy as default copy handler is also checked. Now whenever you copy and paste files, TerraCopy will ask you to either use Explorer to paste the files or use TerraCopy or to replace older files and overwrite. If you don't want this confirm dialog to pop up after every time you copy and paste files, open TerraCopy, open preferences and uncheck confirm drag and drop. Now copying and pasting will work like it was handled by file explorer. You can see your copying operations on this transfers tab. Other features of TerraCopy include pausing and resuming copying operations and automatically skipping files in the case of an error unlike file explorer which pauses the entire transfer. You can also verify files with TerraCopy to make sure that the files in the destination are the exact same as the source files. There is also automation features which consists of actions to take on file name conflict. You can choose from these actions so the operation can finish without you having to do anything. There is also a states menu that tells you the estimated time remaining if you miss that feature from file explorer. TerraCopy has more actions to take when two files have the same name. If you want a full guide about TerraCopy comment down below. The next utility is Power Toys Power Rename. After you download power toys and enable power rename which is a batch renaming utility you'll be able to right click on files select rename with power rename choose what you want to replace i want to add something in the back of the file name so i'll type a dollar sign and i want to add this counter i also want it to be separated so i'll add space 
before the count. Now I would like to remove these numbers from the file name so I'll use ChatGPT to generate a command that will remove those numbers for me. I told ChatGPT my use case following the prompt structure that you will find in the description. If you want to learn more about Power Rename, I have a guide about how to use AI to rename files and I have another guide that is purely about Power Rename and you can access those guides by clicking on the top right corner. By the way, if you got value out of this video, please consider subscribing so I'm encouraged to make more of this type of content. Media Info provides more media information and file explorers tooltip. It will be enabled automatically after you install Media Info. You can see the Media Info tooltip after you hover over Media Files. The next tool is Icarus, which will generate thumbnails for files that don't have a thumbnail. During installation, Icarus will register common thumbnail file types by default. You can manually register additional supported file types by dragging and dropping files that don't have thumbnails into Icarus. I couldn't find files that don't have a thumbnail because Icarus already generated thumbnails for all the files, so I'll use this one as an example. And it will pop up saying that it refreshed thumbnails or that the file type is not supported. Now most of your files will have a thumbnail. If you ever come across a file that doesn't have a thumbnail, you can simply drag and drop it to see if it will generate into Icarus to see if it will generate a thumbnail for that file. Make sure that thumbnailing is activated. To make the process faster, you can use caching. The cache stores thumbnails, allowing Icarus to quickly show them without having to regenerate every time you browse files. Static cache allows Icarus to retrieve cache thumbnails, but it can't add new thumbnails during this session. It will have to wait until your computer is restarted. Dynamic caching allows Icarus to retrieve cache thumbnails as well as dynamically add any new thumbnails to the cache. To build the cache, you first have to go to locations and I recommend that you choose directories that you browse often and that have media files to make thumbnails load faster. After you add locations, go back to settings and click rebuild cache. Another cool feature of Icarus is that it will generate properties for all these file types. Enable properties and Icarus will allow you to view information such as length, width, height, artist and more and explorer for any of the checked file types below. 